so happy Monday. I am in my friend's car in the passenger seat doing some work. Here's my laptop. Um, waiting on FedEx. They are supposed to deliver me a package by the end of the day and I'm going to sit here until my package gets here. So I was supposed to get the package on Friday. For whatever reason, the boutique that these shoes are coming from, I ordered off of Farfetch, but you know, sometimes the boutique will send the stuff out directly from um, their site. So for whatever reason, this boutique put a restriction on the package where I couldn't have it redirected. Usually when I have a package, especially a package that comes from somewhere like Farfetch, that's probably costing me a lot of money. Um, it requires a, re a signature. So usually when I have a package that requires a signature, instead of having them deliver it to my apartment, because half of the time the call box don't work and then the other half of the time the delivery drivers just refuse to use it, I'll have them um, deliver it to a pickup location, which is the Walgreens, right up the street from my house, and I'll just go pick up my package. Well, for whatever reason, this boutique put a restriction on the package and I could not do it. So it had to be delivered to my house and it has to have a signature. This man, whoever the, or woman, whoever delivered the package, claimed that they tried to deliver the package and it was the wrong address. Like they delivered it and the person said I, they didn't know me. Somebody from the FedEx facility in Chicago called me and told me this. I was like, what? I have an account with y'all. I'm sitting here looking at the tracking number attached to my actual address that all of the other hundreds of packages that I've gotten shipped through y'all have been delivered. I don't know what that person is talking about, but this is my address. This is where I live and this is where the package needs to come. So anyway, I am sitting in um, the car because I'm waiting on him to bring my package because I'm not going to miss it because if this is the same person that does deliveries to this area all the time, I want to just have a little conversation. Don't, don't play with me and my packages. It's a lot of monies. I work hard for my monies and I just want the things that I buy with my monies, okay? <laughs> play with me. I am working on my resume. So I'm not in the market for a new job or at least not yet, but I just was perusing LinkedIn earlier today uh, to see what was out there, to see if anything in my field was out there in the area. And literally the most perfect job like popped up. It was the first thing that popped up um, when I went on LinkedIn. And I'm just gonna apply. I'm just going to apply and see what, ha what happens. You know, the best case scenario is I get a new job <laughs> that I wasn't really, um, thinking that I was in the market for, um, or at the very least, I get um, an interview and just sort of get my feet wet in it because I do want to start um, probably looking for something else by the end of the year. I'll talk about that another time. And then um, at the very least, or the very worst, they can tell me no, which I mean, no doesn't kill you. So I'm going to update my resume, apply and see what happens. So yeah, my arm hurts. I got to go. I'll talk to y'all later. As you can see, I'm back in my apartment. I am not doing an unboxing. So that only means that I did not get my package and I am not getting my package today. I actually checked the tracking number um, like 20 minutes ago and it had been updated to tomorrow for a delivery on tomorrow before 12. I cannot begin to explain how curse word annoyed I am right now. Um, but I will be back down there tomorrow and I will be waiting on my package and I will have a copious amounts of question for the person dropping my package off and i will be writing up a complaint because this is ridiculous don't play with my time don't play in my face i don't like it okay y'all see me i'm a little low let me adjust the camera okay that's better Ooh, hold on i'm hot that's Lacroix in a coffee cup because why not um it is Wednesday and I am just getting this package from FedEx and I just went and picked it up from Walgreens which is my drop off spot which they claim they couldn't do originally but we got it done because yesterday they did not deliver it like they were supposed to and listen I am not proud of the way that I talked to those people but we got it done and I have my package and I was able to go pick it up like I originally asked for an exception to do in the first place. Anyway, let's open the shoes. I'm hoping they fit, like I'm a little iffy on the fitting, which is why I was so anxious to get the package because I would like to return it um, ASAP if it does not fit so that I can order 
the correct size, I may have to actually get them off of um, the Axel Arigato website um, if they don't fit, because they didn't have a bigger size than what I got on um, Fetch. Now, I got a 41. That's what I typically get, but like I was reading some reviews and it was saying that they maybe run a little small. So I'm sort of concerned, but we shall see. Gotta open the box carefully in case I need to return these so I can use this same box. So it came from a store called Level Shoes in Dubai. I'm gonna need to leave a review for Farfetch and tell them to tell Level Shoes and other stores like it not to put restrictions on the shipping where you cannot alter where they are shipped to in the case that you need to. Please don't put restrictions on the packages. Requiring a signature is enough. When I go pick it up from Walgreens, they make me sign for it. I have to show ID. Like, don't make things harder than they need to be. This is Laybox. They are so heavy. Ooh. Okay, good packaging. Of course, a dust bag. This is um, like a plastic -y material, so a little different than the other dust bags. That's what I love about luxury stuff is that it comes with like dust bags. And I got a little bag for all of my shoes when I travel. This is the shoe. Now this look big. Hell. Now I know my feet are this big. Now hold on. Yeah. Let me try this shoe on. Girl, they got the audacity to fit. Girl, my feet is so big. <laughs> okay, they fit. I could probably use a half size bigger just because I like to wear tight. I like to wear thick socks with my stuff. But like European sizes hardly ever come in half sizes. And then if I go up a whole size, it's like way too big. These fit just, just perfectly. That's the only thing. Like my toes are like right at the front. I don't know. I need to look on the website and see if they have half sizes because I don't remember actually. Girl, I love these. I ain't trying to hear nothing y'all got to say. Nothing. Let me show y'all my little outfit. I feel like I haven't shown y'all the outfit in a long time. I'm just wearing this t-shirt dress and some little flip, flippy flip flops. Nothing major. Have on a baseball cap per the use. Have on these key um, blue light aviators, high keys. Yeah, yeah, what the kids do. Okay, I'm not putting that in there. Okay, yeah, so they fit. They are just a little snug. I could go up a half a size, but I'm not quite sure if they come in half sizes. I am going to look. If not, that size is fine. It's just I can't wear super thick socks with them, which that's what I wanna do, so. Um, anyway, so it's Friday. It is the weekend before Memorial Day, so we have an extended weekend. We're off Monday. I didn't do much for work today anyway. I'm in my closet. One, because it's super gloomy, like super, it's been raining crazily all day in Chicago, so there's no light. This is the only light that's in my apartment right now. I've said this 12 million times, but I live in a super old apartment. The lighting is so dingy. I even had them change the light bulbs out to like the white light bulbs it's still dingy so if it's no natural light the lighting is terrible in here except for like right here it's not great but like it's not horrible either anyway i'm in this closet because i need to get rid of some more stuff also i really do need to redo these braids but i have something to do sunday and like i'm not about to take these down and redo my hair before sunday it's not happening oh oh oh, oh hold on so i got one of the two um prints that i ordered in Let's open it. Let's open it together. All right, we got it open. I feel like I needed a physics degree or something to do that. I'm trying to be careful because I'm gonna have to roll this up and put this back in this thing until I'm ready to get it framed. So like, I don't know. I'm trying not to rip it apart like a kid on Christmas, but my patience is wearing thin. <laughs> Y'all. I'm being so extra, okay, all right. Why am I having such a hard time just like unfolding this thing to look at it? <gasps> it's perfect. Oh, hold on. Look at that, I love it. The person that recommended this to me was right on the money with this, like, 
it goes so well with my decor even though i don't plan on um hanging it or anything in this apartment i am going to get it framed and i'll probably just like lean it against the wall as decor until i move somewhere else and then um hang them up god how was this wrapped i can't believe i was able to get that back in there listen that's some determination for your ass so like i was saying i am not going to hang it on these walls like i purposefully haven't hung anything on these walls because they are so overpainted like i just i didn't bother doing any of that i've been in this apartment for like three years um and yeah so um anyway i'm not gonna hang it but i am gonna frame it um i'm gonna get some help with framing it let's see what else so as i mentioned i have a thing on sunday i'm going to like a little day party um like a memorial day situation with my friends and so i have an idea of what i want to wear i'm going to wear that striped blue um polo that i showed y'all a couple vlogs ago it's that uh colored polo that i got from mango and i want to wear it with these little just some old forever 21 shorts i found in my um like in the back of this closet somewhere here's the issue with these they are so tight they're a 26 and your girl is not a 26 anymore um they're really tight on the legs which i don't like if i have to i'll wear a lighter denim but i wanted to wear something more this color so i'm going to try to like cut them up the side to see if that gives me a little breathing room in them i am not a diy person that is not your girl's ministry so i don't know how that's gonna work so let's try that also these are hair scissors so i don't know how that's gonna work but i'm just gonna add a little slit up the side Girl, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. So I just did that much on the side. Hopefully that'll give me a little relief. Y'all know I don't like super tight clothes. I don't, I do not like tight clothes like that. Let's see. Okay, y'all, let's try this on. Ooh, text message is showing. Um, also, I need to figure out what I'm going to do about this shoe situation because we are running out of room. These are, I don't know if y'all can see it, but... This is my Trader Joe's bag that I carry all the time. But these are shoe boxes and they are up here to the door right now. Right here. Um, and of course I'm going to buy some more because duh. So I'm going to have to figure out a shoe organization situation. This camera is so crooked. Okay, let's try the shorts on. I have on the same dress that I had on the other day. That's just kind of how we roll um, in this apartment. Okay this definitely gave me the breathing room that i needed um for them not to be so tight and for them not to sm like it had my booty just smashed in not that i had a whole bunch of booty but i don't got no little flat booty either so i'm probably a little ashy don't mind that y'all um but yeah so what i'm gonna do is throw them in the washer so this part can fray up like the rest of the shorts and i think we're good to go and if you don't remember what the polo looks like where is it this is the polo. So I'm gonna wear this polo with no bra, of course, so you can see a little bit of cleave um, with these shorts. And then I think in the video I styled this up, I'm gonna wear these white Schutz sandals. And then my Poppy Lissom and Shays, the black and white ones. Y'all gonna be seeing those so much. So yeah, that's the tentative plan for the outfit. Let me take these off and throw them on the floor with the rest of the dirty clothes. So they can be washed and now i gotta figure out what i'm getting rid of because i just be holding on to stuff just to hold on to it but it's time to for real get rid of this stuff that i'm not wearing so let's do that so it's like 10 35 i have been out since seven this morning saturdays are usually like my long workout days i do a couple miles and then i go to the gym and do like a full body situation so i'm usually out for a few hours but i stopped to get some gorilla glue because i decided this hat is gross let me take that off um because i decided that i was going to do this white strappy mule instead of the other shoe that i showed y'all yesterday um with the outfit tomorrow because um the shorts just do nothing for my booty to be quite honest and so i need to play up my legs and so this has this has a um taller heel so we're gonna go with this but the last time i wore this shoe i like did the little slide trip thing and um it split so i am actually going to use this gorilla glue 
to put it back together. So pray for me that this works, okay? Should I just, maybe I should just put it in the inside and then stick the thing in there. Let's try that. I don't know why I felt so weird buying Gorilla Glue. Like I needed to say, girl, it's not for my hair. <laughs> oh God, can't even buy Gorilla Glue in peace anymore. Okay, so it's in there. I'm just gonna let it dry. Hopefully that works. Why is it warm? I don't know. We shall see. So I'm gonna actually close the vlog out here. I don't have anything else happening today well actually my friends and I are probably gonna hook up and just have drinks and stuff but I'll just probably do a few clips of us hanging um to end the vlog but I'm not gonna vlog us hanging out I do have a net -a porte package coming in today but I may start filming that for next week's vlog or I may wait because I had to order the top for the shorts that I got from net -a porte from another place and that won't be here until next week so I may just wait until next week to show the short girl I don't know why am I talking about this anyway thank you all for watching um if you like it here please make sure that you subscribe I do have a goal of like 500 subscribers by the end of June um I don't know hopefully I can get there I don't know I think the last time I looked I was at like 360 it keeps fluctuating so if you are watching the vlogs and my videos and you like it please make sure that you subscribe comment let's get to know each other and I will talk to y'all in the next video